Welcome back. I'm Mike Kretz. He's Antonio Clark. And this morning, we have got a special little sports cast for you. We're handing out stickers. It's sticker day for high school football. Week one in the books. And as we get into week two, let's break down some of what we saw over the weekend on Friday and on Thursday and, and award some players for a job well let's done. Let's do it. Let's highlight these guys. Absolutely. And let's start with Palisade taking on Rifle. Rifle, the returning state champs. But Palisade, boy, they were playing some great defense. Take a look at the Hog Sticker Award winner, Walt McGinley, coming in from the aid gap, coming in clean. The guard already pulled. The tackle went by to the second level. He is putting on a seatbelt. He is stopping that running back on third down. That's a big play. He shot the gap crazy and then showed off his sumo squats. He must have been lifting all summer. Absolutely. Hey, lifting. During the summer, <laughs> what a concept. <laughs> anyway, the Hog Award winner, and congrats to him. Let's move on and go down to Delta, shall we, please? we got two award winners here. We're going to start with, uh, with Timothy stick. Horn and the t hit stick. Yeah, the take hit, a look. That, that looks like a Madden hit stick. He lines them up. The receiver's arms are up in the air. He's exposed. Those ribs are exposed. Look closely, though. He doesn't use his head. Form tackle here. Uses the shoulder and... Lays one on the kid. Yeah, my ribs hurt just watching that. When you're a defense, uh, well, I guess the linebacker is what position he plays. You see a player like that, what are you thinking? Oh, my eyes are lighting up. It's time to make a highlight play. You were a defensive back, and that's why the next award is the Bullhawk. It goes to Alex Ward, and this is a jump ball. What is a defensive back doing in that situation, Antonio? Oh, I'm, I'm going to find the ball. When the ball's in the air, it's mine. I know it's supposed to be going to the receiver, but it's mine. And tips and overthrows, DB's dream. Yeah, you can see it right there, right off the face mask up in the air. Nice concentration and a nice job by Delta's defense getting oh, yeah. a goose egg in their very first game on, against Summit at home. Uh, yeah, they look like they could be doing some big things in 2A yet. Big time. Again. Absolutely. Big time. Let's move on to Grand Valley and Grand Valley. This is one's for the special teams. The what is it? The, uh, you, I keep forgetting the name of this award, but it's the yeah, there it is. The big play special for special teams and a shout out to Miguel Rojas who kicked the onside kick. Not only did he kick it, folks, he went out and got it. it. This is rare. I've, I've never seen this, and I've played football for 20 years. Now. You've never seen this play uh, in 20 years, the kicker going and getting I've it? I've never seen the kicker go and get it. That yeah, is super rare. Look at that speed. Rare. He is super up there in, in the blink of an eye. And, yeah, Grand Valley taking on Olathe. Grand Valley would go on to win that game big. And you do that at the start of the halftime, which is exactly what they did. They opened up the second half with that play. One word for that. Very bold. Two words. Very bold. <laughs> Indeed, very bold. All right, well, speaking of two words, how about Fruta? Monument and Armani Trujillo. He's going to win uh, the Road Grader Award for his work on the ground. Antonio. Oh, yeah. Tough, hard nosed runner, strong kid. Not the fastest, but deceptive and has the moves, too, as yeah, you'll as see. I, as I get in the way, let me move out of the way. He's just shaking tackles off of me, gets caught from behind. We're going to show the next play, which, man, he is just making oh, defenders this miss. One. Left and right, yeah, watch this. Yeah, He's going to snatch some ankles here. Isn't oh. that what they mean by when they say on an island? Absolutely. You, you got to gotta make that one-on-one -on -one tackle, but he <laughs> clearly couldn't <laughs> on this guy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we talked about it last night, right? Espen Hernandez no longer in the backfield. Armani Trujillo, we're going to be calling his name a lot, especially when they're running up the score like they did this past week. Oh, yeah, I think the team is going to lean on him heavily this year. What about Fruta? While we're, while we're watching these great highlights from Trujillo, what are we thinking uh, is up with Fruta right now? They've kind of been a team on the cusp, and they look like they could be doing something I this year. I think they're on the verge of taking that next step and getting into that next caliber of team and really competing for a state title this year. Absolutely, doing big things against Highland Ranch. But next week, this week... Week they play, two. They play Montrose. Playing the Ooh, Montrose Indians. Good, they were in the playoffs last season. Tane Isla, he was one of the players doing work, and he's doing work again. Watch him stay up on his feet right there. You think he's going to go down short of the goal line? No. He sniffs that yellow. He gets in past that yellow. He's everywhere, though. He's on the defensive end, on the offensive end, running guys over, getting, getting sacks. sacks. He, he's doing every, everything that you want. Road grader and the Hog Award winner. Also, by the way, as you can see right there, our player of the week, Tane Isla, doing some big things for Montrose as they look to go back into the playoffs. And like we were talking about Fruta earlier, we're going to learn a lot about both of these teams when Fruta goes on the road to Montrose this Friday. I think this is a battle for 4A supremacy. Whichever team emerges is going to be leading the way from the Western Slope as far as 4A is concerned. Absolutely. Well, I hate, listen, it's been a ton of fun handing out stickers to these kids for doing such great work on week one. Hope to see more of it week two. But speaking of two, 
Uh, the Grand Junction Rockies, they had two games last night. While I'm still playing, Coach, I'll show you the scores. 9-10, 10-9, uh, excuse me, Grand Junction over the Rocky Mountain Vibes. 13-7 in Game 2. Dontre Hubbard with the walk-off uh, winner in Game 1. And now it's going to get really interesting because Boise, who they've been fighting with for that second half playoff spot, now they open up a series on Wednesday. It's going to be a lot of fun in Boise. The Rocks are super hot right now. That's three straight games with 10 plus runs. So, Absolutely. Yeah. You know, they're well, trending in the right direction. Shout out to the Rocky Mountain vibes, too. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, we're having a lot of fun this morning. Hope you had fun for Sticker Day. I'm Mike Kretz. He's Antonio Clark, and we'll see you then.